So I know I don't play old school RuneScape anymore, but I just decided to check out the old school RuneScape news just for funsies. And today they made an announcement that's fucking crazy. I saw, and I just want to say, if you have at all been like friends with me, if you talk to any of my friends is what I'm saying, they would have told you I've been saying this for a long time, but Jagex is 1000% making moves to get rid of third party clients like uh, like um, Runelight and stuff like that. And this is just proof of it. So what they just did on July 24th, they released updates to the client. Trying to talk about it. First things first is official HD and SD. Everyone saw this coming ever since they had the whole debacle with the uh, HD, uh, OS HD or whatever getting you know shut down, etc. in the community backlash. Everyone saw this coming. Everyone knew it was coming, but it's fun that it's glad it's finally here but the big thing is and this is something that i called from a mile away and i'm so glad it's a thing because it means they could potentially finally put the nail in the coffin to things like Runelight. and i don't have a problem with Runelight. i use it i'm just saying this is a good final nail in the coffin for jagex to take appropriate steps to say hey no more third-party clients which i think is something that should happen and also what this means is that potentially they might allow plugin api for runescape 3 soon so and by soon i mean like in the next two years because that's simply how long it takes stuff to go for old screw runescape 3 i'm making a meme but honestly it might take two years but regardless that, that that that's positive news for runescape 3 that we might get a plugin api soon hopefully but plugin api what this means is it's simple as it, as it says basically jagex now has an official add-on or plug-in thing that people who want to make plugins can now upload to the official client i don't know exactly how this works i'm sure there's like limitations etc but at the very least now jagex can finally just stop the third-party client thing i know a lot of people are die-hard 30 third-party client people but to be honest i'm an official jagex client person i would much rather jagex kind of put their foot down and be like look no more third-party clients it's done you have the plugin api now there's no more excuses we're done here no more discussion nothing and that's what i would like granted i don't play with screenscape so i don't really have a stake in this conversation so a grain of salt but still, that's my opinion as an ex-Gold School player when I was playing Old School. I was part of the no third-party team. I did think that we should have all the Runelite features in the regular client, but I was of the nature of it should have a plug-in or add-on feature like World of Warcraft does uh, and a lot of other MMOs do. Um, I know Final Fantasy doesn't have it, but you know Final Fantasy actually makes their game playable. Uh, you know, unlike RuneScape and World of Warcraft. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there i i play and i'm saying that as someone who's played the least final fantasy out of all three of these games i've put more time in the runescape second amount into world of warcraft and then third amount is into final fantasy and i can say base client wise final fantasy is way ahead of all the games in my opinion it just works now jagex is making some good strides in general and this is just proof of it um if you haven't done sanctum of rebirth yet that is just peak no more third-party client bullshit right there. It is just... Mm. But going back to what I was saying, uh, no more no more plugins is what I mean. Base client, awesome. But going back to what I was saying with Jagex, I went on a tangent here whenever I talk about third-party clients. But yeah, fucking plugin API. It's here. Now, upcoming changes, they have some things here. Uh, one of the last years was a plugin API, such as uh, tile markers, ground item overlays, and with the plugin hub on the way, we want to make sure that you know the difference between plugin and client features. But the work on plugin potentially saying benefits our core client are baked into the current client. In fact, we have some highly requested core features coming there. High scores, with the high scores in game, nice. New mini uh, mini menu changes. This feature will give you the option to have a sub menu inside the mini menu, giving you an easier time selecting something when you want to do. Menu entry. So, holy shit! They're gonna add menu entry swap to the official client. What the fuck? Holy shit, dude. I'm absolutely blown away by this. I would have I, I, I would have lost a bet, dude. I did not think Jagex would genuinely add a menu entry swapper to their official client. That is something in a million years I would have never seen happen. But I guess if they are trying to put the nail in the coffin into rune light and third-party clients i will say this is a good step to go in my opinion it jagex should i know i'm gonna get shit for it but my honest opinion jagex needs to make the the, the plugin api is the is the is the ammo 
Jagex needs to finally kill third-party plugins it, it, or third-party add-ons. It, it, God, third-party clients. Sorry, I'm so fucking. Ex- I don't even play old school. And I'm excited about these changes. It just it, these are things I wanted when I was playing old school. And don't get me wrong, I'll never. I don't want to say never, but it's a very difficult. Very rare chance I'll go back to old school. Uh, I'm not saying I like RuneScape theme more than old school. I'm just saying I have a separate problem with old school and why I don't want to go back to it. I may talk about it in the future. I don't really want to because a lot of people get upset when I talk about it. Because like, fuck you. I disagree. It's like, congratulations. It's an opinion. I- I'm just saying. My opinion is one thing. Your opinion is another. My opinion is I just don't want to play old school anymore for a, a variety of reasons. And I just don't want to get into it. Every time I do, people get up. Even my friends are like, that's so dumb. I'm like, well... It's what I've had to deal with, and I don't want to deal with it. Regardless, though, uh, bank tags, that's just something that should be. Honestly, that's something that should have been in general. Uh, they reworked the UI, which is good. I'm not going to show it. It's basically kind of similar. It, it looks better, <laughs> I think is the best way to put it. But yeah, um, I'm happy. Genuinely, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I am, even though I know this is not for RuneScape 3, I am genuinely happy the exchange. These are crazy good changes. Hold on, I'm gonna go on the runes, the old school RuneScape Reddit real quick. Uh, hold on, let's see here and see how people react. Cause this just came out today. Hold on, let's see what people are saying. <laughs> uh, official client update 2024 Reddit thread. I I'm not gonna show my Reddit because I have a, my private Reddit open and I don't want people to know what this is. It's unreal how much stuff you all have been working on. I hope it's just praise. Will there be any transfer to current rune light settings to Jack's client? Dude, they're legit looking at a plugin to transfer your plugin settings from rune light to, to official client. That is crazy, dog. If they implement that, that shit, that's just, that's unreal. Uh, you update when official client got better than, got better get door kicker. Yeah, that's to be expected. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it's kind of a mandatory plugin to be honest. SD being the same way, same thing we have. Technically, no, we've in the SD. Uh, HD. Blah, 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 blah. I don't really care. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What programming language? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, what programming language? Can say that we'll be using Lua. Oh, absolute shocker to nobody that Lua is the plugin API language. That, that absolute shocker to nobody. Um, who would have saw that coming? Uh, I am pretty sure that's just a free bingo slot. Let's just be real. Here. Uh, Arlen makes a great client. Makes a great client where mobile feels lacking. No, I know it's coming. Kind of wish the dev team on this client would be add to the mobile version. Blah, blah. I think the unit of blah, blah, care plugins for mobile. Uh, this is from personal standpoint, but I can already see people wanting Quest Helper on the actual plugin API, so there's more likely. Okay, I'm just reading comments super quickly, sorry. Uh, any timeline other than soon, we really don't want to give times until we're super confident. But I can personally show you that we're working extremely confident to wait another winter 2017. That's actually kind of funny. I'm just not laughing out loud. I'm not going to lie. Winter 2017. Oh, God, I love that meme so much. It's fantastic. The, the official client is progressing. I wish I, I still played using it, but I don't think it's for me. I used to play it a lot. Are you going to be some examples of uh, bits you don't like that change? People, non-example things they don't like. Is there any info? Blah, blah, blah. The problem is a lot of people, and I get it, a lot of people get so used to RuneLight that they don't want to go back to the official client because let's be real here, the original official client sucked ass. Like, it was, it was just bad. And the fact, and I've tried it at times when, like, RuneLight is down for, like, the first hour of a, you know, some updates will just completely kill RuneLight for, like, an hour or so. So, like, I've used it during those times, and it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, obviously, this was years ago, back in, like, 2018, 2019 uh, time frame. But I've used it, and it's fine. And with the plugin API coming, I mean, that's just further reinforcement that the, um, that it's honestly good. But I do understand why people don't want to. They have... All of their plugins already selected. They they they've already gone through the entire room light sh- uh, uh, you know progress where they oh they find their plugins they edit their plugins they make the settings plugins now that um, room, uh, regular RuneScape is going to be getting or old school RuneScape official clients be getting these things it's going to become a situation where people are going to have to slowly go over to official. But I do think like I said I do think this is going to be 
the ammo Jagex needs to eventually kill third-party clients. I know a lot of people don't like to hear that, but the reality is that is Jagex's goal. I'm going to be completely honest. Jagex does not want third-party clients. The only reason it's a thing is because they had leadership that allowed it, and when they realized it was a bad idea, the community backlashed at any change to try to remove third-party clients. And like I said, it was just... They dug themselves into a, into a hole and they didn't know what to do about it. Now, don't get me wrong. The, the third-party clients have only made... And I, I'm, I'm admitting this. Third-party clients have only made Old Screenscape better over time. I don't have an issue. My issue with Old Screenscape has nothing to do with third-party clients. I am for third-party clients when Jagex is not providing the tools necessary to make third-party clients good. But now that Jagex is providing it with the plugin API, there is now, in my opinion, no excuse for third-party clients to exist once things get off the ground. And, and that's the keyword, once they get off the ground. I'm not saying, hey, plugin API is out day one, Jagex shut down them, shut down the third-party clients. No, you need it needs to be a gradual process. It needs to be like a, hey, eventually, guys, just so you know, by like, you know, January 2026, no more third-party clients. You can import your settings from OSHD and from RuneLight and uh, using this uh, using this plugin we we made. You can transfer your settings there, and then if you don't do it by if you don't do it by January 2026, it, it's it's over. I mean that's what I would do. Obviously, I'm not like running old school, and I'm not even part of the old school community anymore. So my opinion doesn't mean shit. But I do, that's my take on it. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't care. Uh, oh yeah, someone, they also mentioned the Jagex account thing. I don't want to speak on that because I've had a positive experience with Jagex account so far, but I know there's been like super detrimental problems. Isn't RuneLite based on the Java client? So when Java client goes around as well, no, it really is continued supported, uh, is continued to be supported even after we de uh, depreciate our client. Okay, so there. It looks like they're gonna keep Runelay. I don't know. Like I said, my opinion on it is I don't think third-party client should be a thing. But I also, like I said, I'm not part of the community, so my stake in this, I'm just giving my opinion as an ex old school player. I know my opinion does not reflect the current community and should not be taken so. I, I'm giving that warning probably late in the video, but I I do think that it is a very good idea for Jagex to get rid of third-party clients eventually right the key phrase is is eventually and i think Jagex is making very very big strides in doing this right i did not think Jagex would ever get to a point where i could confidently say if Jagex were to get rid of third-party clients tomorrow they could recover like genuinely saying that i never thought we would get to that point because I, they would have to develop a plugin API, which I never thought they would do. I'm going to be honest. The, it was something that I knew was needed, but I never thought they would do. I thought it would be a project that would get pushed off forever. But now here we are. It's going to be a fucking thing soon, or it might already be a thing. I don't know. And it's just crazy to me that they can do that. They already have the ammo. They already have the arrows in their quiver, the, the bullets in their gun, etc., to go and get rid of third-party clients if they needed to. It's just crazy to me. I'm going to be completely honest. I am I am excited to see the future of the official Jagex client. I'm being serious. I am very excited to see the future. Um, and again, I know I'm not playing old school, and I probably won't at least, I don't want to say never, but it's very, very difficult for me to imagine playing old school again. Um, but I do, when I see some of these updates for old school, cause I do pay attention to the updates for old school. Whenever I see these updates for old school, I see absolute bangers coming back to back to back in old school. And like, it just makes me happy for them. Like, I'm going to be honest, like I am genuinely just very happy for the old school community because they're getting some really good updates. And I'm genuinely like genuinely, I genuinely feel good that they're getting good updates. Cause like a lot of people feel like there's a there should be a malicious rivalry between RuneScape 3 and old school, but that's not the case. Whenever RuneScape 3 does something good, old school uses an inspiration to pitch it into an old school version. Whenever old school does something good, RuneScape 3 takes it and tries to make it a positive inspiration. They feed off of each other in a very good way. They help each other grow and become better games. And that's what they need. Like as much as people don't want to admit it, RuneScape 3 needs old school 
school as much as old school needs room to cave three. It's a very paralleled relationship, in my opinion, at least. And I get happy when I see old school making such big progress and having such good updates. Because you know what that means? It makes me feel confident and happy about the future of RuneScape 3 as well. Because if they're putting that much effort into old school, imagine if they put a fraction of that effort into RuneScape 3, which is what they're doing. Only a fraction of the effort into RuneScape 3. You can make some bangers. I mean, look at Sanctum of Rebirth. That just came out this week. That shit's a fucking banger. I have not uploaded my gameplay on it because I'm terrible at pvm but sanctum of rebirth is an absolute 10 out of 10 banger like jagex nailed it out of the park the only problem i have with it is actually two one i'm bad at the game and i i know I'm, this is nothing against i'm just bad at the game so the last boss is difficult for me i haven't even gotten the kill yet but granted i've only given it two attempts um but yeah I, the last boss is difficult for me because i'm bad this is nothing on jag it's just me but that's my first problem the second problem is it's laggy and it just loads slow the first time you're in there. It takes like a full minute, for me at least, to load the area. And then once you load it, it's in your cache, so you don't have to worry too much. But still, it's like that first load is kind of annoying. And you're just sitting there and like a black screen like, yep, this is a thing. And apparently it's a thing for a lot of other people. But anyways, regardless, Sigma Rebirth is really good. They nailed some stuff that I never thought RuneScape in general, both Old School and Jagex, would ever do. Which they did amazingly with like the mechanic the mechanic overview where it shows the mechanics come in that was just mm, it's peak dude it's peak design it's such good gameplay design i love that shit dude i love it genuinely just oh god it's just i'm there's so much bangers coming out like sanctum of rebirth is good the mobile update for old school is good it's just it makes you happy to be a runescape player dude i love it holy shit man